Hey there. You don't want to practice, do you? You might be thinking, I used to have so much motivation. I practiced for hours. What happened to me? It's like if suddenly you don't really have the desire to practice anymore. Well, whatever instruments you play, I want you to know that it's not about you. It's about your character. In fact, for the duration of this video, I will be speaking directly to your character. The more you practice an instrument, the more you grow in patience, self-control, discipline, and consistency. Now I can guarantee you that only a fool would raise his hand if I asked, who wants to be an undisciplined, impatient, inconsistent person who lacks self-control? I know that you're not that type of person. The truth is, you have an instrument in front of you that can help mold your character because they are the only one that will truly help you grow. Think of your instrument almost like a surgical tool that helps you shave off the excess things in life that stop you from being a disciplined person. I guarantee you, if you grow in these traits, you will have many more doors open in life and you'll feel more fulfilled because who doesn't feel fulfilled after a day's worth of progress? Now we'll talk in a minute why you don't feel motivated, but for those of you who've played an instrument for a long time, uh, I want you to subscribe. But I also want you to agree that practicing makes you better. That, that was pretty smooth. But let's be honest here. Why aren't you practicing? The greatest excuse that I've heard the most is, I don't have time. Oh really? How much time did you spend on social media today? On video games? On your phone? On YouTube? The truth is you create your own schedule and you set yourself up for failure. You are your own worst enemy. You destroy your own potential. Mm. Ah, that's good. One of the greatest principles I try to live by is you are as good as you want to be. How bad do you want it, musician? How badly do you want to get over your bad intonation? How badly do you want to fix your rhythm? How badly do you want to fix your stage anxiety? There is only one way. To subscribe to this channel and to practice. It just takes a little bit of time, just a little bit, to get that passage right. It's not as difficult as you think it is. Maybe what unmotivates you is that the piece is too hard. And no matter how much time and effort you put into practicing it, it just doesn't sound good. You might just not feel that you're made for your instrument. Well, maybe you're rushing things and you haven't established a firm and solid technical foundation on your instrument. And if that's the case, let me give you some hope here. It's never too late to do so. Well, whatever unmotivates you, I just want you to think for a second. Only you, deep inside, know what unmotivates you. Don't extinguish the conviction to go and practice. Because the more you do that, the more it will destroy the discipline from your character. Instead, when the thought comes, oh, I should be practicing here, go take a few minutes to practice your piece or to at least warm up your instrument. And I can guarantee you that if you follow that voice, you will grow in discipline. And sooner than later, it will become a habit fueled with the intrinsic desire to practice. Now, I know that's a mouthful, but what that essentially means is that the more you kind of ignore that procrastination spirit that tells you, oh, you'll practice later, or you can scroll for a few more minutes on social media, the more you fight against that and go practice, the more that your brain will neurologically kind of start adapting itself to reject those thoughts and to grow more in discipline. And the more you do that, the more you will find it pleasant and joyful to actually practice. Now don't get me wrong, but I bet that there was at least one moment in your life where you felt absolutely crazy in love with your instrument. And that passion can come back, that zeal can come back if you take the right steps into fighting that spirit of procrastination and just setting your mind on practicing. This turned much more philosophical than I thought. And I guess the greatest danger is if you ignore that conviction of, I should be practicing right now, it will slowly die off and it will slowly stop reminding you to go practice. And this is where procrastination starts getting a hold of your character. You can get so much done with even 20 minutes of focused practicing. Come on, I believe in you. Recommit yourself to your instrument. If you as a musician have a strategy to combat unmotivation, please leave it down in the comments below so that other people who are maybe new to an instrument can draw inspiration from your story or maybe from your methods. Now get out of here, go practice.